welcome back to our channel please like and subscribe thank you for the new subscribers uh, and please leave comments we love comments so please leave thank them. you for our subscribers who are still with us as well this is like a, a, a summary of Park Dean South View uh, Skegness. Yeah. I meant keep, to say it's Southfield then, which is what you I keep calling, calling it. it Southfield. Uh, so what do you think of it? It's very nice. I would definitely come back here. I love the caravan we've got. Um, it just seems we've, had a, we've dropped on a bargain. I don't know if they've put us in the wrong one. I don't know. Um, but if you haven't seen our other video, um, the one before this, yeah, check it out because it's it there's shows a tour all, of the caravan. Yeah, it's awesome. It's got a wash and dryer, and and that is amazing for us, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, the grounds. I mean, it's a, a beautiful site. I mean, if you've got kids, if you're an active person, uh, it's got um, outdoors activities yes uh, more than you can shake a stick at it's probably it's the best site we've seen we've been to park dean at great yarmouth um i think that was it yeah and we've been to park dean i think in north at uh, south wales this one is absolutely perfect if you've got young families um they've got like that little hub where you can book activities and he might add pictures of it on this video i might do like a little separate section i'm mm. a in the middle of this or at the end there's like a bear grills uh experience there's a, a zip wire there's, there's, there's a climbing trampoline, four trampolines like the one at haven they've got that as well um there's just so much to really remember but if you want to do so many activities you can buy a bundle which probably works out cheaper um it's got a swimming pool with one of those slides that go out the building yeah, and come back tubes. in um They've got the normal laundrette arcades. They've got the uh, Nisa shop. They've got a fish and chip Isn't shop. Isn't it called Nisa? Nisa. I always pronounce it. Nisa, Nisa. Well. It's tomato, a... tomato. Uh, I don't they've... know what I'm saying. So. <laughs> they've got kind of like a, a KFC. It's not KFC, but they've got that kind of their own chicken. It's called Thunderbird Chicken. Something like that. But it's a bit like KFC, isn't it? I mean, I'll either overlay this with those short videos of what we're talking about. Uh, or, as I said just uh, a minute ago, I might do a little end video or even a separate video. In between what we're talking about, you could put little bits of drone in. But it's wonderful. Yes, the site is huge. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't get really as much drone as I wanted. The weather's been very windy. And as people with drones know, uh, it's the worst sort of weather you can deal with. I mean, drones can put up with a little bit of rain and uh, even you, night time. But you had the alert, didn't you? The wind, uh, it was dancing about. In the sky it's like a kite. It's freaking me out because it cost a few quid. But um, so so when we came on this site, uh, when we first pulled in, I had a good feel to it because as the entrance, you've got the water feature in each side. It looks stunning. So you go down this long kind of road and then you pull onto reception. By reception, you've got an arcade and the fish and chip shop. When you pick up your keys, you go through this barrier. And it's like a long line at the bottom. You've got, um, I'm trying to think now, you've got the Nisa shop. You've got, uh, which has got a few bits in there. A bit expensive, but... They always are on these. Yeah, for sites. essentials, it's okay. Um, you've got the, um, uh, what's it called, the club down there. Um, we're actually in between that, uh, our caravan, and we're near the, um, is it the kids' hub. Yeah, for the activities, the activities, the outdoor. Huh? I mean, you've got an outdoor table. Uh, I Town call it tennis. ping pong, but it's table tennis. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, an outdoor chess. Uh, there's crazy golf here. There's there's probably things we're missing out, but you'll see them. Uh, there's on... so much. But what we did forget to say actually is, uh, Andy did do a drone of it. So when you pull onto the the um the site the long lane 
Before reception on the left, Park Dean actually have a hotel. Uh, uh, I think okay. it's called South View Park or something. South View Hotel. South View Hotel, sorry. Or South View Park, something like that. But that's on the left. And that, if you stay in that, it must be beautiful because you've got a big lake. Uh, there's ducks wandering about. Just lovely to see. There's ducks everywhere. You go outside, you get followed by ducks. <laughs> Uh, you was actually doing the drawing the other day. Yes, uh, and I could hear a noise behind me, and uh, it was a whole bunch of duck ducks. Uh, following you. Just following me. <laughs> uh, I think they thought I got up, or they, what I had bread, or they look, look, there's a fat guy. He must have some food on him, uh, or something like that. But um, The thing with these societies, though, um, I can't remember, we never really say what we pay. But we didn't obviously pay a lot. We do sometimes pay to check in early because uh, if you're going from one caravan to another, it's a big gap. So we do pay that. But this caravan, I do feel we've been upgraded or something for free. It, um, it's beautiful. I'll definitely come again. I did check out the prices for next year. They probably looked at me and thought, well, he's a man of suave and sophistication. Now, if they looked at you, we'd be over the back of them 50-year-old caravans, <laughs> back probably for the riffraff. It is beautiful. Um, I think, myself, I've looked at... Because we've already booked a break, believe it or not, for next March. We're going to back to Blackpool and we're going to... Um, oh, God, how do you pronounce Is it Martin Merle, something like that? Yeah, not we, Carla Graham. No, we wouldn't go back there. I didn't like it and the caravan stunk and more yeah. clean so we have booked for next march now i was looking at next june for southfield southview sorry i'm doing him now southview it is quite pricey for a week i think like six or seven hundred quid i'm sure i looked i might wait um and see if the prices come down nearer like it's the opposite with haven i think the nearer the holiday the prices go up uh, I mean, this is a prime example of uh, what Carla Grant isn't, and I, and I mean that in in a dog friendly way. I yeah. mean, this is a dog friendly uh, caravan. caravan. Uh, it's got fabric on the um, settees. It's got carpet, and it's got uh, curtains. curtains. And you do not smell dog. It's, we have not used the Febreze always... once in here. No, now, we haven't. You you pay extra for a dog, uh, and you kind of think, well, you know, that's probably because they clean it, they get the smell out. Carla Grant didn't. It was it vile. Absolutely stunk a dog. And, and the thing is, um, we're in respectful people, so when we come to a caravan, when we leave, we always clean it and sweep it and whatever. She makes we, the bed. Well, yeah, or they've asked, if they have to strip it, I do. But we always bring things like this he's got his own blanket in in the bedroom so he likes to lie in a bed and we bring things oh, these are my two blooming jumpers actually he's lying on them as well and um, so we're respectful as well but that caravan at part um at uh what's it called carla grant i carla would grant. not go there again didn't like the park if i'm honest no didn't like it so but we're going to compare it anyway to that other one in blackpool so but yeah Yes, anyway, this has been going on for eight minutes. I'm going to try and put some uh, footage at the end of this or in a little bit during this. So I'm trying to keep this small, but would we recommend this? Very. I would highly recommend this. Um, this caravan is probably one of the nicest caravans we've ever had. And, and the thing that we haven't even spoke about, you literally um, probably... Uh, you could walk it. Uh, an able fit person could walk it to Skagless to see. It's not that see far. far. It's not it's that, not that far. far. I mean, you get a bus. An actual bus comes in yes, here. Yes, number, number two. two. Yeah. Uh, and there's two bus stops. One at the back and one at the front. Yeah. Um, it is. Uh... And it's not a huge, not far away. Uh, the Skagless uh, seafront. Exactly. And um, it's... but if you have kids, I'm telling you, they would never get bored here. Never. We've actually, I've just remembered, we're actually coming to, we've booked Mablethorpe. I can't, do you know what? We've got that many going on. Um, when we go to Mablethorpe. I don't know. You just book them. I'll just take uh, 
<laughs> we had book Ivan, Marble Thorpe, and I don't know when it is. Uh, is it this year or next year? Do you know? I don't even know because we've got a few coming up. So we're going to our next trip is in about four or five weeks. We're actually going to Hemsby. Um, we're staying in uh, one of the chalets in Bel Air, and then we're going on to Haven at Caister. Um, so we're there end of April, May. So it's about five, four or five weeks. From there, we're going to, um, mm. oh, we're going back to Caister. We're going to that Sea View one again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've got a few trips booked. We, I can't think when that blooming Mabel Thorpe is. Because we, we want to compare the July. Mabel. It is, actually. It's this July. <laughs> My mind's going. So we want to compare Mabel Thorpe to Skegness because they're both Haven. So... The Skegness, I think what ruined it for us was it was really muddy and we did actually find somebody who, um, a car wash. Um, I mean, they that's another story, but they absolutely, our van was covered in mud, the wheels. It was filthy. There was mud on the side. The, uh, the wheels were like brown with mud. Yeah. There was mud on the windscreen. They were so cheap. Mud on the roof, mud everywhere. Um, yeah. They, they and we like... took it to this hand wash. Uh, I mean, all foreign. Nothing wrong with that. But it's the usual car wash. Hard grafters. They, we and, actually um, paid them nearly double, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, it, uh, the vans were £12 to clean. And I'm telling you, they did the, the steps on the inside. They did everywhere. The roof, the lot. Uh, and the wife is very tight. tight. <laughs> uh, I usually give them a fiver on top if they do a, a reasonable job and I have to fight with her for that but uh, at the end she said just give them the 20 um, yeah we give them 20 pounds which I still even think is cheap yeah it was they, for the amount uh, they of mess underpriced if I'm honest yes but uh, did a good job that was on, that was on the bonnet and everything <laughs> the windscreen I know they was hard grafters they, they earned their money that day yeah. so I was happy to buy the next round Anyway, I'm going to end this because we've got burger and onion rings for dinner. I've got to wash this mop. My air is absolutely dry. I don't know what it is with the sea, but it's uh, my hair is in bad shape at the moment with the sea. The sea it air. is. Uh, and uh, you lot stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, where are we next? We're at the nurseries next the in the cottage. Hot tub. Uh, we won't be showing that. We'll probably be home by the time we show that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. And uh, yes, we'll give some reviews of the cottage and uh, the surrounding areas. We're looking at going to the Mumby. Is it Mumby? Mumby, yeah. Yeah, we're going to meet um, some friends there. Um, the boatheads. Yeah, boatheads on tour. And hopefully Neil's on site and the others, so... We can say hello, yes, yeah. if they're there. If they're not... Might be busy yeah. out or yeah. out, so we'll see. I'm spending a lot of time in that hot tub. Yeah. So, yes. Our trip's nearly over a Skegness. You stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. We had a little issue today. Uh, last night... <clears throat> last night the boiler went out. And we never know heating or hot water, which uh, isn't a major pain because Lisa was in bed, so she was all tucked up. And I just put on a jumper. I knew there was nothing we could do until the morning. I did put on the cooker and the rings. So it was all nice and warm and toasty in here anyway. But when she woke up in the morning. But they come out within like 10 to... minutes and they fix the problem. Something to do with the pressure. Uh, but yes, that's the only issue we've had. Uh, it's been uh, a lovely stay here. Uh, wash my hair and then I've got to... Um, I'll send like you then to wash my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Can you close the door? Because it's, it's getting cold. cold. Uh, <laughs> yes, 
I went out there to put some stuff in the van and the van is surrounded by geese and ducks you just like you've it. got no choice it's not like you carry bird seed or geese feed or duck feed with you so the only thing we've got is bread uh, and I'm sure I've read somewhere you're not supposed to give them bread but I've always done well but I've when always, kids you know, you'd feed on bread yes and it's uh, done them no harm uh, I think they're young'uns because they're still got a colourless to their um, feathers. Their ones are beautiful, they're uh, dark green. Yes, uh, the ducks, I think they're called mallard ducks. But uh, yeah. I could be wrong. Uh, leave comments if I am wrong or if I'm right. But um, yes, anyway, the wife's about to make uh, a drink. And um, it'd be nice to go on, but then you even make one coffee at home. You've, you've not made one coffee all day. I'm gonna belt him around the chops. I'm saving all these belt around the chops when we get to the coffee. I'm on holiday. So am I. You sit on your ass for 360 odd days of the year. When I come here, it's my turn to sit on my ass, and the big ass it is. And you know what else? What? There's gonna be a foot up your ass. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, we've got more footage of ducks that you, and, and geese that you can throw a stick at. This place is literally covered in them. You know, know about uh, what that duck is? I bet it's JP, isn't it? Well, it's a duck. You don't need to... Uh, uh, green one, the, the, the actual... You don't need JP to know uh, that duck. Well, what's the name of that duck? A duck. It's a it's a mallard duck. Are you sure about that? I am sure. Yes. Hundred percent. A good hundred percent. Yeah, almost. And if you're wrong, you're gonna have to make me coffee whenever I ring my bell, or I've actually brought on holiday. Not gonna happen. Yes. I'm going to tilt it down a bit. Oh, he doesn't seem bothered. Oh, them cute. Peanuts doing as usual. Peanut and a scooter. Ain't ya? No, he's not bothered. Mm -hmm.